the M1 carbine. This is brand new to me. This is from 1944. I got it with my CNR license. Shipped straight to the door. Pretty awesome. I've really liked the M1 carbine since, I can't remember what was first. Day of Defeat. Or Saving Private Ryan. Although the interesting thing is, I've heard that the M1 carbine was kind of disliked because of the stopping power. Compared to the Grand 30-06, and you have this little rinky-dink round, uh, that's a pretty big difference, but my question, if these have a thousand foot-pounds of energy and a nine millimeter has around 350, nine millimeter is capable of blowing the lungs out of a deer, what is something three times as powerful gonna do to a person? Apparently not enough. This is my first time shooting it. You're doing this with me, so come join me. Let's see where we are on paper. I have no idea where these irons are gonna hit. So we're just a tad bit high. Oh, it's because the sights are at like 300 yards. <laughs> Let's put them to a 100. Now we're in business, Texas star time. With this at a thousand foot pounds, I can only use that on the big boy. Those two rimfire ones, those are for basically 400-ish foot pounds max. All right, I'm gonna get my sling blade impression. I reckon I'll help me some of the big ones. It's time to take out the big ones. <laughs> me likey. This can only mean one thing. It is now steel and soda time. We have a nice variety of soda placements. It's carbine wrath time. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget about that one on top. There's a used up spray paint down there. Poor little prairie dog. <laughs> Let's compare this on the steels versus the uh, nine millimeter we did last week. I learned the last time, paint the steels because they came black and I lost one. Although I did review the footage. That chicken is gone. It hit one of my banks in the back and then flew about 30 feet into the swamp. The rescue mission was not successful. I expect these to go to the stratosphere. I accidentally had a collateral damage on my spray paint. I have no idea what these are rated for, but I have a feeling I'm gonna find one with no base to it left. Let's headshot the ram. Let's see what happened. I think we found the limit. That's a good sized dent in there. All right, you gotta give me credit on this one. <laughs> a little bulge on that thing. Let's repeat the test. Let's repeat. That was almost a repeat of my chicken. Except when the chicken first hit that berm, it was still in the air. I'm gonna aim for the back left leg. See if I can split it off. 
let's investigate. Well, the bore is no more. I did what I wanted to do on that. The ram I hit relatively close where I wanted to, but the bore was, that was the money shot. This one's doing a little bit of a lean. I'll give these guys a break. Let's do some bricks, paver, center block. Let's do that. My guess with this one shot and that brick is going to be, I think it's gonna be split more than in half. My prediction is correct. <laughs> All right, time for the paver. Although the paver is not gonna stand much of a chance either. Predictions. I know this should split in half and probably one shot. Now it's just determining how many different pieces it's gonna be. <laughs> I'm expecting bigger breaks on this though, not like the little crumbles that the other one did. It's about right. I won't go too hard on it. I think it's already been beat up enough. <laughs> I had two bricks on the back of that paver. Those are gone too. I'm expecting one shot to break this and then it'll probably just crack. We'll have to put a bunch more shots into it to turn it into gravel, but I think one will split it. One did not split it. Two split it. <laughs> Cindy time. Great ass! How many rounds of 30 carbine does it take to split a center block? Find out with me. Well, there you have it. All right. Let's do a little shootorama. We got the dueling tree and we got the pendulum. Let's rock the pendulum. Let's see if we can make that little one spin like crazy. Dueling tree. Wow, that's quick. Need the thirty rounders. Aw, I have to say, for this being a thousand foot pounds, about 200 less than a 223, for this rifle weighing as little as it does, I have to say, this thing is really soft recoil. I'm curious how this did at long range. Maybe that's why they like the 30 odd six better. This still seems very capable, but I've never fought a war, so what do I know? See ya.